Look at him. <laughs> Packed. Small dog. Good luck, Tom. Start him off. I was told that I didn't need a visa for New Zealand, but I got to the desk and I checked I didn't need a visa for us, uh, New Zealand, so I didn't get one. When I got to the desk and they said, have you got a visa, sir? I said, no, I don't need one, do I? To which they said, no, you do not, but you need to have proof of your outgoing flight out of New Zealand so we can grant you uh, the visa to go in, the, the tourist visa. And I said, oh, I don't have that. Well, anyway, this is the little bit of video I had on the desk while they were explaining, while I was trying to blag it. So, you said me I need a visa to go to New Zealand? Yeah. But it says... If you're willing to stay there... I'm not going to stay. I'm yeah, you're not staying. But then at least you need a return ticket or an onwards ticket, which oh, you have, you are going to go onwards, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. it's not confirmed. So. Yeah, so I haven't booked the ticket because yeah. I've got to put my bike on. Because I'm, I'm shipping a bike from New Zealand to Australia to drive it and I haven't confirmed the shipping dates so I can't book my flight because I I can't go until the bike's gone. But I've got like a carnet and stuff, you know, like that says I'm going to be leaving the, the bike, will be leaving the country. Okay, I'm done. And I've got the e visa for Australia. And I've got a bloody website. <laughs> All around then. December. Yeah. Yeah, but that's not, you're not showing you're leaving New Zealand. So now I've got to book it on my computer. I mean, you only been Melbourne for a day? Yeah. <laughs> Sky scanner. Oh, I need all my passport details. They want it printed now, you watch, they'll be like, can you print it? I'll email it to you, you just have to email it to me. Crazy lady was in our um, uh, lift. Level minus one. It was just some crazy tunes. 
much for my dad's annoyance, so I thought I think he was cool. It's got Beyonce, you know it's like a story, someone done a story of, of some sort of Beyonce, one of one of those young music types. Yo, here I am, sitting in the airport, starting my trip. Not gonna lie, I'm grabbing myself a little bit. This is weird, sitting in the airport with your camera held up, looking at your face. Um, I, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone that's been here for me for the last six months and made this trip possible. I just want to say thank you, Mum and Dad. And thank you to the boys, you know, Andy, Ross, and Dave, especially Dave. You've all been there for me loads, kept me going, um, convinced me that this is a good idea. Or, or try to convince me it's not. You know, Sam and Soph, you've been amazing. Thank you so much for looking out for me. And uh, yeah, yeah, all of you, you all know who you are. Leonie, I owe you a lot of thanks. You know, you've been amazing. I, I couldn't have done this without you, mate. I'm so happy I met you and had the time to spend with you over the last few months and that and all my friends and family. I'm gonna miss you all. Vlog number one, I guess. And we'll, they'll keep coming thick and fast, hopefully once a week. And uh, I'll be on a plane now for the next 29 and a half hours. So yeah, I'll keep you updated. Love you all. No TV. <laughs> Look at this. That's what I'm really sad <laughs> to do for nine hours. I'm going to be very bored. Audiobook. And uh, maybe I can edit this. Here in New Zealand. Oh, what a flight. That was long, very, very long. Good sleep though. And now I'm trying to sort out my shipping for my bike. Um, my name's Tom Curtis. I'm looking to ship a little Honda CT110. I've been back in the UK. Um, I've been emailing Phil a bit. Um, I've just got back to New Zealand. And I'm, I just sort of wanted to get it um, sorted. It's no worries at all. Sorry, can I just take your details, mate? I'll pass it on. Yeah, it's. Uh, Stressful to say the least, but yeah, it's been a good 38 hours, 42 hours, 40, I don't know, since I left the UK. It's all been going all right. Um, just tired, <laughs> ready, ready for. Um, kind of want to get on the bike. I haven't seen the bike yet. The bike's up at mine, so I'm gonna head back up there. Hopefully this week. I've got a meeting with uh, Melanoma New Zealand on on Thursday. So go check that out, um, see what they've got to say, see what I can do. Um, Honda will be in touch apparently. Don't know what that means, but fingers crossed. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm going to get some shoes on and I think head out for a coffee. I'm just going for a walk into town to go see if it's changed very much, which I doubt it has. 
I think that's the same basketball hoop that was there before. And I think there's a swing up here as well on tree. Um, so I expect to bike people today. Hopefully they get back to me. Honda have contacted me ordering parts. Hopefully I don't have to pay for. Um, I don't even know. I just assume my bike's broken, which is probably a good assumption. I've got a meeting with a charity tomorrow, which I've probably already told you about. Yeah, it's all good. It's warm here as well. Really warm and muggy. I miss it. It's been good. Um, yeah, so off for a nice coffee. That's nice New Zealand coffee. And we'll see what's changed. See you in a bit. <laughs> a t-shirt here from the months of like January no I don't know for a long period of it best ice cream in New Zealand not a best in the world though not a patch on the place on the uh, Great Ocean Road Melbourne Dave you can testify amazing Fifteen hundred dollars for a car name, eight hundred, nine hundred quid. That's not sure on three.